Hi, um, my name is Dr. Virginia Von Schaefer. And today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about HPV or human papilloma virus. Now, it's very clear that uh, most people know that HPV virus can be uh, dangerous uh, if in fact it's uh, related to uh, the strain HPV-16 or HPV-18. And of course, uh, there has been a vaccine that has been created, which supposedly uh, prevents infection with these two strains of the most dangerous strains of the virus. Well, that may or may not be true. I have patients who have contracted cervical cancer after receiving that vaccine. And it was an HPV-16 viral infection that caused her cancer. So yes, many people are concerned about what do I do? How do I find out if I have it? And if I do have it, how can I get rid of it? Now, of course, for females, um, a cervical exam and swab, or what they call a pap smear, is something that we commonly do. And this infection can be detected and then treated, whether it's um, with a laser or some kind of a cautery or elimination of the uh, actual uh, papilloma. Well, for males, it's a little bit different because uh, the male urethra is a kind of long hidden tube and direct examination of that area is not commonly done. Even so, men are very concerned about having this virus present in their bodies and creating a potential threat to develop a cancer. So we're left with, you know, what do we do? How do we find out if we have it? Now, one of the things that you can do is have a blood test. Uh, not one that's come in a regular lab corp or quest, quest blood test that tests for antibody reaction to the presence of the virus. Uh, but there is a lab in London called the Biocentor Lab, and it's uh, managed by a, a cancer research group, the RGCC people. And they do a blood prime spot test, which can test through the blood the uh, antigens that would be released so it's PCR based, not antibody based, antigens that might be released either in the bloodstream or inside a patient's cells um, that have the presence of any one of a number of viruses. And this is the only test I know of that can be conducted on a blood specimen and it's very accurate because it delineates whether the patient has something in the serum or the bloodstream or inside cells, such as macrophages or whatever. And this information can be uh, quantified because it is a PCR test. And that can help us to see uh, to what extent or magnitude that an individual has this infection. At the same time, uh, a treatment can be made for the patient based on the test results that involves um, an SOT treatment or a supportive oligonucleotide treatment or therapy that can target the microRNA of this unwanted entity and when the antisense molecule, molecules are combined with the microRNA of uh, HPV 16 or 18, um, that microRNA will no longer work and the virus can be eradicated. This is very, very important because HPV communicated via the oral or genital route is a huge threat uh, to the health of many, many people. Uh, HPV-based oral cavity cancer is very, very prominent and if undetected can cause huge health problems because of uh, the extent that 
you might be required to have surgical resection or uh, even uh, radiation therapy. Uh, and even though you may have a, a tumor that developed from one of these strains of HPV, uh, if you don't eradicate it in the bloodstream in, in the entire body, a recurrence will come and may be worse than the first episode of a cancer. So it's a very, very important health issue and it can be uh, uh, something that can be detected and eradicated. Thank you.